Hey guys, it's uh, Gare here again uh, to do another haul video and to show some of my figurines. Um, it's Friday, I think today is um, June the 15th, um, and um, I've got a few, a few, just a few comics today and a few figurines I want to go through and then uh, talk about something just a bit at the end of the video. Um, this is kind of like a few, but uh, just a, few, a handful of comments, but some goodies. Uh, first up, uh, The Strain, a uh, base a lot of you are familiar with. Uh, I think I've talked about on um, past videos, Guillermo del Toro being my favorite living director. Uh, I just think he's just a magnificent talent, and I uh, uh, always look forward to his uh, films. Love Pan's Labyrinth is like in at least my top 20 of movies. Uh, he is a... Uh, um, Dark Horse is doing an adaptation of his uh, vampire uh, novels uh, called The Strain. Uh, and these are really, really good. Uh, good artwork, good uh, writing, very solid work. I highly recommend The Strain, uh, adapted from Guillermo del Toro's novels. Uh, this week, I uh, also have The Mighty Thor. Uh, this is issue number 15. Uh, very colorful, a little bit different colors there. A little bit brighter, kind of uh, some pink, some uh, lavender sneaking in there. Uh, you know, but it's Thor, so whatever, it's going to be cool, right? So, always got to love Thor. Um, I'm actually, uh, last week, last Friday, I showcased the latest BPRD uh, with the story, The Transformation of J.H. O'Donnell. I don't have it with me and I, I think that's right. And I discovered a new artist that I'm just incredibly enthusiastic about. He's quickly becoming uh, absolutely one of my favorites. With uh, Francesco uh, Francovilla, uh, he is um, maybe my favorite current artist. His, I'm going to, I hope I don't uh, massacre his name, but first name is Max. Uh, last name I believe is Fumera, F-I-U-M-A-R-A, -A, correct me in the comments if that's wrong, but he did the artwork on the BPRD, which was just superb. Um, the cover was a, a little bit reminiscent of uh, some of the early work of uh, Bernie Wrightson, but, uh, you know, the work inside shows his own, um, uh, you know, his own style, his own personality his own lines and colors, of course, but I'm very excited, so i am kind of been Googling and, um, uh, you know, backtracking, getting some of his older works. Apparently, uh, with Joe Kelly, he wrote a series, uh, a mini-series of books, um, I think about three or four years ago, called Four Eyes, and today at my store, I was able to get the first three issues. Um, I'll have to hunt down uh, the fourth. Uh, this is the first one. I don't know what it's about. It seems to be um, uh, a boy and his dragon story, perhaps, but I think there's more to that, but uh, I will read this these tonight and get back with you on it, and of course I'm going to be tracking down uh, issue four uh, as quickly as possible. If any of you guys are familiar with these, please let me know, uh, you know, how you like this series. Uh, this is issue number two, um, and you can see uh, very characteristic traits of his works, his colors, his lines. A uh, little boy in the front with his uh, back to us, very skinny neck and kind of a big round head. A uh, very interesting artist. I like his uh, depth of uh, perception. Um, this is number three, uh, a little bit demonic looking. I will learn before I do these videos to take the comics out of the plastic so the glare just won't, uh, you know, murder all of us. So, uh, there's that one. Really looking forward to reading those three, and I will uh, get back to you on that uh, soon. Uh, just quickly to run through a few figurines. These are uh, not really mine. These belong to my brother, who is a huge, huge uh, Star Wars fan. Uh, he has everything. He has a ton of comic books, novelizations, uh, games, and figurines. Um, and the first one I wanted to show was uh, this, uh, of course we all know who this guy is. This is Darth Vader. 
I like the Star Wars uh, movies. Um, I really wouldn't call myself like a, a really big uh, fan, but uh, I do enjoy them. I, I don't really collect any of the items, but I enjoy looking at, uh, at these very well done figurines. And this one, uh, helmet removes and reveals him for his much more vulnerable uh, human side. Uh, you know, so very well done. Got the flowing cape, very evil looking, very menacing. So I have to be careful with this or my brother will kill me, you know. So Darth Vader, uh, I think you know uh, another great villain of the Star Wars universe, uh, Darth Maul. And uh, very well done figuring. I think I love his boots. Uh, and he's got kind of a bit of a frock coat uh, cinched at the middle. And of course, he's got the double swords, which I have to ask, is that really fair? Is that really fair, I like to have a double sword, uh, Darth Maul? But I really did, was very impressed with this uh, character, and I think that George Lucas probably made a mistake killing him off after only one movie. I think that he really is just a fantastic, unforgettable villain, uh, you know, and I wonder how many of you uh, agree with me about that. Uh, Darth Maul and... Uh, to sex things up a little bit, uh, I'm sure your Star Wars fans will be familiar with this one. Princess Leia um, getting her vamp on, uh, you know, kind of chained to this pedestal. I don't recall which movie. I think this was the third of the original three, and the name of that escapes me at the moment, but uh, Princess Leia. And one of my figurines uh, that I wanted to show and quickly talk about, and I meant to show this ever since I first started doing uh, the haul comic and figurine videos that I've been doing the last few weeks. Uh, some of you may recognize this as this is not showing up very well. Let's see if I can get really close. This is Saruman from Lord of the Rings. And I just really, this is a small figurine. It's only about maybe three inches, three and a half inches. Um, and um, when the original Lord of the Rings movies came out, uh, we were just really crazy about those films, especially the first film, especially Christopher Lee and his magnificent performance as Saruman. I've always thought that Peter Jackson's casting habits are um, either really on the mark or really off the mark. You know, for every Christopher Lee you have a uh, cast of perfection as Saruman, you uh, have a Liv Tyler. I don't dislike Liv Tyler or anything, but I just don't really see her as fit for uh, Lord of the Rings, you know. But uh, very happy to uh, hear that uh, Christopher Lee is uh, uh, reappearing uh, as Saruman in the upcoming Hobbit films. He's supposed to be in both movies. Uh, his part was filmed in England. Peter Jackson went to England to film uh, his roles. Uh, Lee, as you probably know, is very elderly. I think he's about 90 years old now. Uh, so, But we saw that movie over and over again, primarily for Lee's uh, Saruman character. Uh, liked those movies pretty, pretty well. Liked them less as they went along. The first film I just thought was really wonderful. Uh, the second film I liked, and the first film we saw about seven times in the theater, I kid you not, I'm not exaggerating at all. Uh, the second film, I think we saw it twice, uh, liked it, liked it a little bit less, The Two Towers. The third film, frankly, I was looking at my watch, you know. It was like just a big battle uh, film or something, and of course you never thought it was never going to end, and the worst grievance of all, uh, I was on the internet screaming with everybody else about Christopher Lee's performance being deleted from the film, which I just thought was really, really egregious, uh, you know. So, uh, and also, wait a minute, how did this figurine get in here? Where'd you come from? Uh, who's this character? Oh, well, never mind. Well, we won't talk about that. Um, that's it for my comics and my figurines. Um, I mentioned last Friday that I was going to be doing a, uh, not a review, but uh, my thoughts on the movie Prometheus. Um, I'm going to do another video for that and uh, speak about that and uh, say a few words about a beloved favorite writer uh, of mine. And I'm hoping to uh, 
incorporate some videos of me talking about um, uh, talking about films of new films that I see in the theater, new DVD releases, uh, as well as older classic movies that I really love a lot. So I hope you guys enjoy that, and I'll try to get that. I won't post it right away, you know, uh, just to load my YouTube channel up with videos all at once, but uh, I'll do a couple of them and hold them back for a few days and uh, then share them. I hope you guys like them. Anyway, um, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the comics and the figurines. By all means, check out Max Fumara. It's F-I-U-M-A-R-A. -A. He's a fantastic, fantastic artist. I think you'll really love him. Uh, and if you if you do spend money on his books and you don't like them, you can come here and rail, you know, in my forum. Uh, take it out on me. Uh, and but I don't think you'll be disappointed at all. He's fantastic, and um, uh, I was also something that's been uh, I've just been wondering lately. I've been watching uh, quite a few like comic uh, haul videos recently, people's collection of comics and collectibles, and I'm seeing a trend that's uh, really got me wondering. Uh, and I wonder if you're disturbed as I am by the possibility that the word awesome. Uh, is kind of being replaced by epic. And I was just wondering if, if you guys are as concerned about this as I am or what your thoughts are about it. You know, do we really want to let awesome go in favor of epic? I don't know. We might really want to stop and think about this. Uh, you know, uh, if, if we allow epic to supplant awesome, uh, can tight... Uh, be far behind, you know, just kind of waiting to shove uh, Epic off the stage, you know, so, you know, leave your comments on awesome, epic, and tight, and, uh, you know, whether you think this is a real controversy or just a straw man uh, masquerading as a controversy. So, anyway, I <laughs> hope you enjoyed the video, guys, the comments and the figurines. Uh, please subscribe, uh, leave your comments, share. Uh, as you like, and uh, I'll be back in uh, two or three days uh, with some uh, uh, movie, uh, my thoughts on my thoughts on film. And uh, you guys have a great and safe weekend, and I will talk to you soon.